Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to solve a hard problem from lead code 472, concatenated words. The problem statement is given a list of words. Please write a program that returns all concatenated words in a given list of words. A concatenated word is defined as the string that is comprised entirely of at least two shorter words in the given array. So basically we have to find the strings which can be formed using other strings which are present in the array. Okay. Note the number of elements of the given array will not exceed 10,000. Okay. This is giving a hint that we can use recursion here. Okay. I already mentioned about this magic number 10,000. When it is mentioned you can use recursion or DFS. Okay. So any recursive solution if you want to write you are fine to you know go ahead with it. Now, this looks to be a very simple problem to me. This is not a very difficult problem at all. Okay, so what we can do, we can actually pick each word, find all the possible substring of that particular word, and find if those substrings are present in the given array or not. And if they are present, then you can add it to your result set. So let's write the solution. We have to return a list of strings. So I'll say list string result equal to new array list okay and return result okay yeah so yeah and now as i said for each string or for each word in the given words okay what we can do if we'll call one method called let's say can form okay so if can form will pass the word here we have to pass all the words of the array but we have to pass as a dictionary or you can say like a set why because uh, if we keep all the words in a dictionary it will be easier for us to search okay we can search the words in o of one time so before i pass this let me create a set okay from the given words so I can say set of string, I can call it as a dictionary, okay, new hash, hash set and I can pass the list of words that I have, right. So I can say arrays dot as list of words, okay. <coughs> now I can pass this dictionary into the can form method okay dict okay yep and then if can form returns true then i can say result dot add word okay so now we can just go ahead and fill the can form method so can form method will return a boolean so i can say boolean can form it will take a string of word it is also taking a set or dictionary right okay good so in this can form method what we can do we can actually you know um, you know search all the substring of this word and we can check if they exist in the array in the dictionary and if they do then we can form the word right so let's do that for int i equal to 1 okay i'll start from 1 i less than length i less than the word length right yeah so in this loop i'm going to actually you know split this string into two halves okay i'll call the left half as string left equal to word dot substring substring is one word okay i always do this mistake so s is small here okay substring word dot substring zero to i this is one part and the second part is string right i can call equal to word dot substring i okay good Okay, now we'll ask if the left part exists in the dictionary. If yes, we'll check if the right part exists in the dictionary. 
if yes then we can return true right from here right and let's say if the right part does not exist in the dictionary then we can actually split it further and we can check we can continue doing this operation and we can find for the substrings which are present in the dictionary right so to be able to do that we can actually call this can form method recursively right so let's do that so um, i can say if dictionary contains the left part okay then we'll call if dictionary contains the right part also or we can form the right part using the remaining substrings right so we'll call this can form again for the right part past the dictionary right then also we can say return true okay now uh, return false finally we will return false okay yeah this looks good to me let's now run this accepted okay let's submit it cool we got it okay so actually we can do little more optimization here so let's do little more optimization okay So, if we see this input, the smallest length of the word present in the dictionary or the array, you can say is of three length, right? So, cat is of three length and rat and dog are of three length, right? So, what we can do instead of starting from one, we can start from the minimum length of the word which are present in the dictionary. So, what I will do here, instead of creating this dictionary like this, I will actually write a for loop. I can say I'll just remove this for all the words in the given array string word words I will find the minimum length in the array right so I'll say min equal to math dot min word dot length mid right i will also add all these words into dictionary so i'll say dict dot add word okay i'll also do some sanity check so i'll say if word dot length equal to zero then continue okay Okay, declare the mean int mean equal to integer dot max value. Okay, because I am going to use this mean in the can form method, so I have to declare it here. Okay, so int mean equal to integer max. This is good. Now we'll go down and we'll use this mean here, and we'll do this min less than equal to let's see if it is increasing now okay cool now let's run this accepted okay this is good now submit it sixty four we can further optimize it by using memoism so let's do that in the top down dp or the you know memoization we can actually create a cache so let's build a cache set of string temp cache equal to new hash set okay i'll cache my result so i'll say if so when we return true we have a word to cache so we can say temp cache dot add word okay and now in the very beginning we can say if temp cache our cache contains the word then we can immediately return true from here right okay yeah 
So this should further optimize this. Now let's see this. Awesome. Thanks guys. See you next time. Okay. So the time complexity for this problem, let's say the number of words in the array, the given array is M. Okay. So in that case, anyway, we are adding some cache. We are also building a set, which means we are actually using extra space of size M. And now in this for loop, what we are doing in this for loop for M words in the array, we are calling can form and can form is actually creating all the possible substring of a string, right, which is actually in n square time. So total time complexity is O of M n square. Okay, or you can say O of n square. M. Thanks, guys. See you next time.